Oh boy. Ah. Oh god. Welcome back to our first video ever. I am Micah, this is Ron, and we are Baptized by Beer. Today, we're going to be figuring out who makes the best Oktoberfest. So, let's get right into it. Ron, will you do the honors? Oh yeah. What are we drinking? Got Lion Kugel's Oktoberfest German style Mars and beer. Whatever. Fill me up. Wow, we got six generations of brewing in this bottle. Well, it definitely looks like a beer. Uh, that is my technical analysis. <laughs> we got some head. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to sniff this stuff? You cork sniffer now? Sm sm smells like beer. Yeah, look a little more here. It's like you look like you're a little low. Oh boy. A little... Well, cheers. It's our first beer on camera as baptized by beer. We are officially cheers. going. There's a bunch of little bubble things going on in there. Malty. It's very malty. Yeah. Not a lot of hop character. I think you could probably chug a few of these. Yep, and drive home. I don't know. I, could you? I don't, let's, have you done that math? 5.1% alcohol? Yeah, yeah. You're good for at least four. You'd be good. Good. Yeah. Don't drink and drive, kids. At least don't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> you, you probably don't need to empty the whole thing either when we film. Ah. Uh, I don't know. What fun is that? Alright, let's finish this guy off and get into the next one. Woo! Got a little, right. got a little beer baptism right there. That's what we pray to the gods for. Next up, we have uh, Rochester Mills Oktoberfest. They describe it as a celebration lager. What are they celebrating? I fucking, don't know. We'll see if we're celebrating after this. What is it fucking. What is there celebrating in October? You think Thanksgiving? It's not. Nope, that's the nope. next one. What is there? Um, Death? Nope, it's Hanukkah. Hanukkah? Yep. Here, go <coughs> get you some of that. This one? This um, one you could probably only have a couple because, damn, 6.25% al alcohol? I don't know, let's taste it. Gross. Not bad. I, li I, I like know. it. I like it better than the line of food. I do too. That was my first thought. I said it's better than that last one. It's, it's got like more. It's got more malty flavor, even more than that. And you also get a little bit of bitterness at the end. Well, it's got the hops. We got Magnum and Hollertau. Magnum will give you a big dick. I don't know if we can guarantee a larger penis size. Right, I can do that a left. That's what your blue pill does, Ron. Not this beer. It's my favorite so far. Two beers in, this is my favorite. Rochester, good job. Lion Cool, you got blown the fuck out of the Yeah, water. Lion Cool's got some work to do. I'll try better next time. <sighs> oh my gosh, you breathe that heavy again. They're gonna smell your breath when they're watching this. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're pouring too much in here. I don't know about that. Next up, we have the world famous Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Uh, this is one of the most popular Oktoberfest beers in the world. Not with me. Um, <clears throat> Ron is not a fan, but spoiler, I don't know if I've had this one yet. So, let's get it going. Oh boy. Ah. Oh. I've never done this before. Yeah, we can tell. <laughs> oh god, now it's sinking. Fuck <clears throat> this. Sorry, it's our first video. We're not that far into it. You know, we'll get it by like the fourth or fifth. Look at that, you got some fucking head. Oh wow. This one looks very similar to the last one. It looks like had. piss. This one uh, looks very similar to this one by Rochester Mills. Tastes like piss. I saw one guy one time, he did this, he swirled it around. Yeah, yeah. Like he was doing a line of coke. Custom malt. See, what, there's like no information on this shit. Like we have nothing to talk about with this, Man. except for how bad it is. You know, that one's really bad, bad, bro. It's, have you tried it? Try it. I've tried it before, but it doesn't what have do you near- You have to try it. It doesn't nearly video. have the details of what's in it. We're like, not judging by the aesthetics on the can. Listen, I want to know I what I'm drinking, know. kind listen. of. Kind of. I think I think this one is on par with the one from Rochester Mills. 
but I know you're gonna not Bullshit. like that. Bullshit. <laughs> it's really not bad. I can see why that is a popular beer. It's easy. It tastes like you would expect an Oktoberfest beer to taste. Um, I think you get what you pay for. No, do no, no. I, I think it's solid. Mm. Overall, <clears throat> I think it's right on the same level as this one from Rochester. Bell. It's the fucking Ugg boots of Oktoberfest. Ugg it's the most popular. basic bitch. Like, why don't you throw some pumpkin spice in there? It's orange. I, mean, I guess that's what they're hinting at. It's like subliminal message here. It's not bad. It's it's not bad. Ron already was biased. He didn't give it a fair chance. I've, dra- I've given that thing a fair chance. Yeah. Don't like it. All right. Next up, from Griffin Claw Brewing Company, um, we have their take on the Oktoberfest. Um, these cans, especially these two, um, are kind of a turnoff for me. I really just, I'm not a fan. It's, they're too busy. Do you have epilepsy or something? I'm about to, I feel like. I don't know if it's contagious or not. I'm not taking any chances, you know, so. That was a good pop. It was a good pop. It's a good start. You want to take one for Yeah. Oh, wow. This one's very different. You're, I, I don't know how you're going to feel about this one. I'll tell you what. I need to really freaking clean my palate after oh, that fucking. Oh, boy. Fucking, you... fucking October fest. He's really going for it, huh? Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you are a full-on grown-up. <laughs> um, so right off the bat, you can tell with this one, it's much more yellow looking. Uh, the other ones were more amber, more orange looking. This one looks like the consistency of like a Bud Light or any sort of light beer you would have. I will say this one does look more like piss than the uh, This one Adams. looks a lot like piss. Like if I hadn't had water we'll in a few days, it would look just like this. <clears throat> Alright, let's try it out. No, you gotta sniff this shit, bro. Very... It smells a lot more hoppy than the last thing. It's very... Homebrewy. That's how I put it. Like you, you get a lot more of a like almost raw... Kind of aroma off the top. It's probably probably malty is the right word, but you can't describe all of them as malty. This this one I would say is it gives me more uh, like a hint of IPA ness in this one. I feel like I think so. Like I, on the nose, as the pros call it, and uh, also on the taste buds. I kind of like the cans. Yeah, it's like you could. But you don't run our Instagram account. You have to take pictures of that. Speaking of which, follow us on Instagram. Uh, baptized by beer with no spaces. We also are on Facebook and on Twitter. Um, yeah, and we have tons of YouTube videos and stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know all those things your other favorite YouTubers tell you. Do that to our channel. Tell me, cool. tell me how wrong I am about Sam Adams Oktoberfest. The other ones have all been very similar, and I think they're very much what you'd expect when you have an Oktoberfest. And this is not what I would expect for an Oktoberfest. It's still a pretty good beer. Yeah. You know, don't get me wrong. I would drink this any day of the week. But it is not like a true Oktoberfest, I feel like. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe this German shit at the end will just be totally different. This but, is a fucking wild card. Um, yeah, I have no idea what we're in for. This has a lot more smell. You get a lot more... It, it's not as... I don't know, not as smooth, I guess. It kind of punches you in the face. Like It's a little bit more aggressive. Yes. Yeah. It's an aggressive beer. Label it Maybe all. this hypnosis thing just worked on me. Maybe that's all it is. Maybe this can actually fucks you up, and then you just, you're on board with it after that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm getting fucked up. Well, all right. Next up, um, we have Atwater Brewing Company. Um, They're based out of Detroit, Michigan. We have their take on the Oktoberfest that they call Blocktoberfest. Will you do the honors and open this for us? Please don't do some stupid shit with that knife again. I'm not. I'm gonna perfect my. Did you bent it. that knife? Is that no. thing bent? No, I haven't bent. Oh shit. my lord! It's not bad. Honey, we are down one knife. Add it to Ron's bill. Thank you, sir. Tell me when. That's when. <clears throat> See this? This one already looks um, more like an Oktoberfest. Um, than this Griffin Claw beer did. This, no. this Griffin Claw was very, very light. Very light. Um, this looks like the amber, the orange, a little bit darker. Um, it looks, it looks like, very much like the other three. That water usually makes solid beers. Mm-hmm. 
Big Dirty Blonde is good. They want a silver medal. It smells like the Griffin Claw. They're all called Oktoberfest. So you get a... See, I like this one because they're creative. They got Blocktoberfest. Yeah. Is that what those two dots above the O mean? Or how am I supposed to pronounce that? Blocktober? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't speak German. Yeah, I don't either. Clearly. So, it smells a lot like this. It looks a lot like this. Yeah, it's but like, it tastes better than this. I will reiterate, it's better. It actually has it has more in common with this than I thought it you would. You think so? I don't think it has it's, a ton in common with that. It, it's smoother than this. It's uh, oh, it's good. I think it it, it ranks up there with that. All right. <laughs> Next up, from Roke Brewing Company. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, they're from Royal Oak, Michigan. So they kind of just combined the Royal and Oak, and I don't know if it's just Roke, I, I don't know. Rocktoberfest? Rocktoberfest? 5.4% alcohol. Again, kind of a busy can, but I think this is kind of what they're known for. I'm, I'm sort of unfamiliar with their brand, um, but judging by their Instagram and some of the other pictures they've uploaded, they, they kind of like this um, busy, um, I don't know, there's just a lot going on here, and I think that's kind of their style. Let's give it a shot. Does the tapping, tapping do anything? It does if it's soda. Yeah, for sure. If it's soda. Okay. Yep. See, so this one is also very, very light looking. It's very also... similar to the Griffin Claw, but it's not as see-through. No, it, yeah, it's, it's hazy. Yes, it is. It looks a little bit thicker. Like, this is like... T-H-I-C-C. Is yeah, this like actually, is this even a lager? It's a is Marzen. Is this a Marzen? I, I don't fucking know, man. You picked them out. I brewed beers clearer than this shit. Oh, this smells very different. It smells um, almost a little like lemony. It, it says it's a lager in very, very fine print. It's soft. It's like a pillow on my tongue. If my pillow was made of beer. It might be tonight, Ron. It's very, I could drink a lot of this. Yeah, this feels like a all day taste. This is beer. a drinker. It's not anything like what I expect the majority of Oktoberfest to taste like, and it's not like what, it's not what I would expect when I buy an Oktoberfest. But this is a very good beer. I, I think Don't get me wrong. The aftertaste, I get kind of the same <laughs> thing from these, but what initially hits you isn't that, you know, that taste that you kind of have with all the rest of these yeah. Oktoberfest. Except for the German one. We don't know what's going on with this guy. I like it, though. This is very good. That's that's going to be tough. I, I, I put that in the winner's circle, man. I would I would do it this way, right? So we have two categories. If this is our, um, you know, traditional Oktoberfest, and this is yeah, kind of like can, a new school spin yeah, on the Oktoberfest. You can that kind of, don't put it too close. They don't want to ruin the other one. If this is our traditional Oktoberfest over here, um, I still think this guy from Rochester Mills is the, the leader here. But these two, that's kind of a different take on Oktoberfest. I think Roke is a leader here. I think Roke is very good. These are both, they look very light. Roke is a little hazier. But Roke is something where I'm like, wow, I could drink this all day. Like, it's, you know, Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could start drinking this thing at noon and drink it until I pass out. And you know, I, I might agree. this year too, actually. That, that's a very the same good beer. Thing. I'd buy more of these. Yes, I, w I would spend more money on those to drink when the camera's off. Um, some of these other ones, I don't think I would. Oktoberfest isn't my favorite, admittingly. Uh, you mean the Samuel Adam ones? Cause... Yeah, I, it's just not really like my favorite style. Um, but Roke is very good. I would spend more money on Roke. Last up, we have some German shit. I'm not even going to try to pronounce. I'll try. I'll try it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I... <laughs> Schlachtala Rock beer. <laughs> oh my god. How was the percent? <laughs> What's the percent on this? We didn't look this up. Uh 5.1. Okay, not crazy. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> this thing smells like beef jerky. <laughs> Let me try this. Let's smell it. Smell it first. <laughs> what? I did not expect him to be right. <laughs> it smells. It smells like I I opened up uh, some Jack Links. Yeah, like I I can smell this that Sasquatch on their courses. I can smell him right. It's now. got a goddamn Sam Squinch in there. Oh my lord! You're right. I want a whole lot of that. Um, 
I'm going to say... If, <laughs> I, I keep I'm smelling gonna, it like, I'm, like I smelled it wrong the first two or three times. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is probably the weirdest tasting one they really have I poured very little. Uh, it is by far, I would say, the darkest and by far uh, the haziest. I really had no idea what to expect, but I did not expect like teriyaki beef jerky. Yeah, it smells very smoked. It smells like it was on fire, actually. <laughs> like, if you go to a bonfire, when you leave and your clothes smell like burning wood, that's sort of what this smells like. That looks like you're drinking root beer. It is that dark. It's very roasty, very smoky. It tastes like I lit a piece of wood that just had a fire put out. Like, you put out a fire and you lick the ashes, that's what this tastes like. It's not horrible. It, no. It's really not horrible. It's not like dry and chalky and like crappy like you would expect that to taste. But that smell you get from like burning wood, that is exactly how this tastes. So I, I think the only thing, I, I, I don't know that this is an Oktoberfest now that I taste it. It's definitely not. So Mars in, is March, I believe, in German. And it's lagered from March until October. Typical October fest. So Mars means that it was lagered since March. And I think that's the only fucking thing that it has in common with any of these other beers. Which I'm not even totally sure that they all follow that rule. Um, but it's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. But the way they say it back here, the historic smoked beer brewery, it smells and tastes like that brewery was on fire and they bottled it. Because it smoked is a great descriptive word for this, because that's exactly mm -hmm. how it is. It's hickory smoked beer. Yeah, very much. It's interesting. I don't. I don't think I could drink a lot of it. And I'm pretty sure this, this is an an imperial pint, which is more than a regular. American yeah, it's pint. a bit bigger than these other ones. I don't hate it though. I don't want to drink a lot of it. I would probably want to drink this on a very cold winter evening. For me, I think it's different. For me, hands. I think this is an experience beer, which means you don't drink it a lot, but you drink it once to have the experience, and every time you drink it after that, it's to give someone else the experience. So Ron and I have had this beer now, but if we go hang out with some friends and they never tried it, we're like, yo, you gotta try this beer. And then we all drink it again. And then after that, none of us drink it ever again, unless someone else, we're trying to introduce someone else new to it. I don't think I would do it again on my own, unprovoked. If my life depended on it, absolutely. I've, I've had a couple of smoked beers that were really bad. This actually has a pretty good balance of smoke and some of that nutty, kind of roasty stout <clears throat> It makes me flavor. want to go start a fire and sleep on a bear rug naked right in front of that fire. Anyway, Ron, which company makes the best Oktoberfest? So, on our contender table, we have Atwater Brewery. Let's, let's get this. This guy... <clears throat> That's a different breed. That's a whole different ballgame. It's not bad. Not bad. I like different. it better than Sam Adams. Very different. Um, so we have uh, Rochester Mills, one here. of our early contenders, their Oktoberfest. We have Atwater Brewery. We have Roke. And we have Griffin Claw. Who are you going to push forward and go all in on as the best Oktoberfest? Honestly, I think I would go between the Rochester Mills Oktoberfest and probably the Roke, even though they're quite different. Yeah, I think I'm on the same page but as you. I also kind of wish I could get another taste of that Oktoberfest, because that might have just been... Just go at her. For me... I think the Roke is my favorite beer out of all of these, uh, but if I was going to buy an Oktoberfest, I think this is the guy that gives me um, the experience I'm looking for and the taste I'm looking for the best. This, this, like I said, this one is very similar to the others, Try it. but it's the best. Try it. Uh, I wish I had another it, It's a great Oktoberfest. Like I said, it's a very traditional... Um, very well done Oktoberfest beer. But it's very different than this. That is a very good beer, though. <clears throat> Roke is a very good beer. I just wouldn't consider it like a, not a true Oktoberfest, <clears throat> um, but I would consider it a traditional Oktoberfest. It's like a new school spin on the Oktoberfest. That's the one that's not terribly <clears throat> hazy. Right. Or no, that's Both the one, that, no, that's the one, no, that's one that's hazier. really, that's the hazy one. Yes. Yeah. So, there you have it. 
Our favorite Oktoberfest beer is from Rochester Mills Beer Company in Rochester Hills, Michigan. Um, but in a close runner-up, we have Roke Brewing Company's take on the Oktoberfest. Uh, they are very different, uh, but this is a very good beer. This is a very good representation of Oktoberfest. So, in our completely unprofessional yeah, and, and totally biased opinion. Yeah, but mind you, we need to stop talking and start, and start drinking. drinking.